In this section, we'll be talking about the different tools that you'll need to install your roof with. One of the things that I like about this style of metal roofing is that it doesn't really require any specialized tools to install. Aside from your basic hand and power tools, there are just a few important tools that I'm going to mention that you'll need to install your roof. To do all the cutting on your roof, I'll recommend that you use just a basic pair of tin snips. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of different styles of snips available, and to a certain extent, it's going to be your personal preference as to which type of snips that you use. While any style of tin snip will do a pretty good job of cutting this style of metal roofing, if you had to pick just one type of snip to do all of your cutting with, I'd recommend using this style of duckbill tin snip. What I really like about this style of snip... Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit subscribe so you can be a part of my channel. You can watch all my videos that cover complete stages of both shingle and metal roofing. There's tons more content coming out soon about all aspects of roofing, including skylights and trim and sheds and whatever you're interested in is that the tip is angled so that it keeps your hand above the plane of the metal when you're trying to cut it. I want to make a point about one tool not to use to cut your metal roofing with. This is an abrasive blade that work with either a circular saw or an angle grinder and it will easily cut your metal roofing panels. However, there's a few big drawbacks to using this tool. Uh, when you use this, it's going to send a spray of hot metal shards onto your metal panel. Those hot metal shards are going to melt through the paint coating or the galvalume coating and cause your panel to rust prematurely. Similarly, the edge of the metal that you're cutting with this blade gets extremely hot and the paint coating all along that edge is going to melt back and that edge is going to rust really quickly. So please try to avoid using this tool on your project. Another important tool that you'll need is a magnetic nut setter to hold your screws in place as you drill them into the panel. Make sure you have a nut setter with a magnetic tip to hold the screw in place as you work. Not all of these items are created equal. Having a quality tool will make your life much easier as you will most likely be installing several thousand screws into your roof. Make sure that the screw sits firmly into the nut setter and that it does not easily wobble or lean to one side or the other. Often, a poorly set screw is a result of some debris caught in the magnet, so check inside and keep your nut setter clean. If your screw tends to wobble a lot as you're trying to install it, it's probably the result of a damaged or defective nut setter. I recommend having several of these on hand so that you can replace them as you go along. Now any type of power drill will work to set the screws into your panels, but I've always preferred using a cordless drill. You can use a corded power drill, it'll work fine, but I've always felt like having a lot of extension cords running across the roof is kind of dangerous. If you use a cordless drill, I definitely get one that's at least 14 or 18 volts. And in recent years, I've preferred using the cordless impact drivers over the cordless drills. The impact drivers spin faster, which helps you set your screws faster, and they also have a lot more power, which is easier on your arm after you set thousands and thousands of screws in a day. Having a nice holster or one of these belt hooks is really important for keeping your tools close at hand while you're working on the roof. Now, if you're working with a galvalume or galvanized unpainted metal panel, make sure not to use a pencil. Instead, you're gonna to wanna to use a Sharpie or similar felt tip pen. The graphite in pencil lead is corrosive to the galvalume and galvanized finish. The pencil will make a perfectly fine mark on the panel but it will cause that area of the panel to rust prematurely. And that's just a few of the important tools that you'll need to install your metal roof with. If you'd like the complete series for yourself on how to do shingle or metal roofing, you can go to my website, roofingintelligence.com, and there you can get a membership to either stream or you can get a DVD in the mail. that will show you how to do all the steps for either of those types of roofing. Enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching.